garbage truck. Garbage day. <laughs> Christmas, happy holidays, happy December 5th, and welcome to your horror advent calendar. If you've missed any of days 1 through 4, you can check them out in the playlist below. We've got four days of holiday, winter, Christmas, horror movie recommendations for you there. And now let's see what we have in store for day 5. really should have thought through how I put these in that calendar. Okay, so day five, we have Anna and the Apocalypse. Um, very excited to talk about this one. It's our first and I think only musical <laughs> we have on our calendar. It came out in 2017 and was directed by John McPhail. And let's see what the letterbox summary has to say. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. A zombie apocalypse threatens the sleepy town of Little Haven at Christmas forcing Anna and her friends to fight, slash, and sing their way to survival, facing the undead in a desperate race to reach their loved ones. But they soon discover that no one is safe in this new world, and with civilization falling apart around them, the only people they can truly rely on is each other. Are each other. They can truly rely on are each other. <laughs> I think that about covers it. Um, Anna and the Apocalypse is about a high school aged girl named Anna. It's her last year of high school before going off to college or university. It's set in the UK and it's Christmas time and there's also a zombie apocalypse. So yeah, there's a lot of layers to this movie, a lot of genres going on here. It has an average score of 3.2 out of 5 stars on Letterboxd, which is pretty good. It seems like a lot of people really like it, and I've definitely heard this movie hyped up on the internet a lot before I watched it. And I had kind of an interesting experience with this movie. The first time I watched it was about two months ago, I think. And like I said, I've heard a lot of good things about it on the internet. People like really champion this movie and really love it. And the first time I watched it, I was just like, okay. I don't know, it just didn't really resonate with me. Uh, we'll get into that later when I talk about the things I don't like about this movie so much. But it did not work for me on that first watch. And I rewatched the movie recently to film this video. And since then I have been listening to the same like seven songs on repeat from this cast album. The music is just really fun. And it looks like most of my friends on Letterboxd like this movie. Some of them really like it, some of them not so much. But yeah, like I said, mostly positive reviews. So starting off with things that I really like about this movie, obviously I really like the music. I think it's so fun and catchy and there's a little something for everyone in there. And I do think it's amazing that so many of the songs are my favorite song. Like such a large percentage of the songs on the cast album are in my constant rotation, which I think is kind of rare. There are some definite standouts. I'd say the biggest standout for me is Hollywood Ending, which I think is probably the most popular song from this movie. Uh, it comes pretty early on in the story and serves as somewhat of character introductions. There's no such thing as a Hollywood. super catchy and the choreography is really fun, but beyond that I also just really like a song like that that sets up what you should expect for the rest of the movie. Another favorite of mine is the song Turning My Life Around, and while the whole movie is super Shaun of the Dead-esque, given that it's a zombie horror comedy, uh, this song in particular was really reminiscent of that scene from Shaun of the Dead where he's like walking down the street and all the zombies are going nuts behind him and he just doesn't notice anything. It's like the musical version of that, which I love a lot. New morning, feels different than before. I almost thought that this could have been the opening scene of the movie, even though it is about 20 minutes into the movie and it does come after Hollywood ending, but I think we can rejigger things, move things around, make it work. I just think that this would have been a much stronger start, and a lot of the establishing character stuff that happens in the first 20 minutes feels somewhat laborious, and it's like, okay, we gotta get through this person, and we gotta get through this person, and I feel like it might have been nice to start off with a bang like this. But anyway, there's lots of great songs. Soldier at War is another one. It's the, like, bad boy killing zombie song. I think that one's fun. Human voice is really good, Give Them a Show is really good. The songs are really good. But beyond that, I just really like the combination of zombies and blood and singing and Christmas. 
Now as for the things I don't like as much, I kind of touched on this, but the pacing of this movie just doesn't really work for me. Like I said, I feel like the first 20 minutes are kind of unnecessary. I feel like all the things that we learn about the characters in those first 20 minutes we could learn later in a more natural way rather than being like this character is this way this person likes these things this person acts this way and as much as i like the song so i really hate to say this but some of them feel like they just don't belong in the narrative of the movie it feels like they're kind of generic songs that could be about anything and then someone was like oh let's put it in this scene like I shouldn't say they don't make sense in the narrative because they do. You can like attribute what's going on in the song, what's going on in the story, but it seems like you could almost apply it to any situation and it's not super specific to these characters in this moment. Like there's a song Human Voice, which I like a lot. I think it's a great song, but when it happens in the movie, I'm just like, and why, and why are we singing this right now? Why is this how we're feeling? But a very minor complaint about songs that I like so much. I think the biggest hurdle I had with this movie is that it's just not my sense of humor. And that's not to say I don't find it funny because there are some visual gags with the zombies that I think are great. And like I said, that song Turning My Life Around where there's just chaos happening behind her, I think that's so funny. But for me, more so, it was the dialogue that didn't work so much for me. There would be things that were clearly meant to be jokes, but it would just fall super flat for me. And maybe that's a cultural thing. Maybe I just don't get British humor. And then the last thing I don't like so much about this movie, it could be seen as a little bit of a spoiler. So if you want to be completely unspoiled, just like la 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 for a couple seconds, this movie gets really sad. And I know that's a stupid complaint to have about a movie, but I really didn't expect it to be as sad as it was. And when it ended, I was just bummed out, dude. But you should take all those complaints, criticisms, whatever they may be with a grain of salt, because I do think this movie is so, so fun. A great movie night watch. As for the festive levels, it is like overtly a Christmas movie. There are Christmas decorations everywhere. People are wearing Christmas sweaters, there's candy canes. It's straight up Christmas. But for some reason, it doesn't feel like the most festive movie to me. Perhaps it's all the zombies and the blood. It's like too many things they were trying to cram into one movie. But it doesn't super feel like a straight up Christmas movie to me. But the vibes are certainly there for a festive time. So I really hope you check this one out. I hope you have a great time with it. If you're like me and don't love it so much on the first watch, watch it again because then you will not get those songs out of your head. Help me, I cannot get those songs out of my head. But that's it for day five of our horror advent calendar. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I will see you tomorrow.